Now, cotton is considered one of the natural fibres because it's made from plant materials. Some other examples would be wool, which comes from sheep, or silk, which comes from silkworms. But there are some fabrics that don't come from nature. They were invented in a lab. Nylon, acrylic, polyester, all fairly commonplace in today's clothing, but none would exist without some clever chemistry. Hi, I'm John Ages from TFS Australia, where we work with synthetic fabrics every day. Like natural fibres, synthetic fabrics come with a range of properties. Nylon is lightweight, stretchable and strong. Acrylic is lightweight, soft and warm. Polyester is strong, crease resistant and keeps its shape well. Here we specialise in elastane based fabrics which are known for their exceptional elasticity and recovery. But before we make the fabric, the elastane thread must be produced. The chemical solution of polyurethane and polyethylene glycol is forced through a metal plate to form strands of liquid. Hot gases set off a chemical reaction to form solid strands. The strands are then bundled together to produce a thread of desired thickness or count and transferred onto spools. So when we receive the spools or cones of elastane yarn, we set about turning them into strong, stretchy fabrics. So how do we do it? It all starts with our knitting machines. These machines can take up to 90 feed threads at a time. Thread combinations will depend on what fabric we're manufacturing, but mostly include elastane, nylon, polyester and cotton. The knitters will produce a raw roll of fabric, otherwise known as grage. First up is the gas-fired stenter, which is basically one long continuous oven. The fabric goes in one end and comes out the other, the correct width and weight. But not everyone wants their garments this colour, so next comes the dyeing process. The dye machine is controlled by a computer that sets the dye quantities and temperatures. The fabric, twisted into a long continuous rope, is first bleached and then colour dyed. Based on the colour and fibre type, it's heated in the dyeing machine to between 60 degrees C and 130 degrees C in order to fix the dye. After dyeing, the scutcher squeezes the water out of the fabric, detwists the rope and then flattens the fabric for the next process. Then it's back to the stenter for its finishing pass, where it's trimmed and finally set. So next time you're taking a dip in swimwear, wearing a leotard or jumping in lycra, you've got stretchy synthetic science at work. Well, it's official. I'm sick of this lab coat. I've had enough. So I've made a few calls to some designer friends of mine. I'm getting a whole new one made, just for me. Stick around, that's coming up.